Hey guys, back again with another Blu-ray DVD update. This time I've got a big, big stack like this. And luckily I've watched some. So I can mention a little bit about it as well while I'm at it. So first of all, I've been wearing this Galio film for quite a while. And I never got around to seeing it cheap. It's always been kind of like out of my price range. It's not that expensive, but it is like $20. And for a DVD I didn't want to pay that. And that's the sister of Ursula. This is one of those Galio films that I really wanted to say. It's supposed to be very sleazy. It's supposed to be really good. And I've been like, I really want to see this movie. But I didn't want to pay a lot for it, like I just said. I'm not happy with one thing. It's got a uh, punch in it, which means that I, if I wanted to, I could never, ever trade it in. I never will. I don't get rid of my movies. But it's just, it takes away from the perfection of the case. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. yeah. Next up, I got on Blu-ray Focus. Now, Focus, I saw the trailer of, and I was like, I really, really want to see this movie. The movie looked epic. It looked fantastic. I was like, I have to buy this right now. I don't care if I go bankrupt. I need to buy this movie. Well, I watched it yesterday, and it was a big letdown. It started off promising, and then it got in the middle where it started going, nah, nah. Well, I thought, oh, they're at the game. This is going to get really exciting. And then at the end, it just ends. And you're just like, oh, come on. You know, it was disappointing. Next up is the unauthorized Saved by the Bell story. Watched this and was like... It was interesting to see from Dustin Diamond's perspective what the movie, was, what happened at the time. But at the same time, it was lackluster. Nothing did happen. Yeah... Uh, pill waving relationship pill on the set. That's nothing new than any other set, you know. Uh, Dustin Diamond seemed to like make himself awkward and weird apparently, because the kid who plays him in this is constantly quacking, doing really weird stuff, and you just think to yourself, poor them, not poor him. So yeah, I watched that, and that was quite disappointing. But I'm glad I got it because I'm a big Saved by the Bell fan anyway, and anything to do with Saved by the Bell documentary wise, I'd pick up. So I'm glad I got that. Bloodsport 4, which I watched and I was absolutely disgusted by. It cost me $6. I have seen it before years and years ago, but I'd forgotten it because it's one of those films which isn't very memorable. And that's exactly what it was like when I watched it again. His friend gets killed. He ends up in prison. He ends up in the dark Kumatai, which has really bad fighting scenes. And the way he finishes off the bad guy with a pen is hysterical. Because you're like, right, this isn't a real fight. Yep, you may say, Mel, you spoiled it for me a bit. But trust me, this is one of those films you don't want to pick up. Alright, you don't want to pick this one up. Next up, The New Barbarians on Blu-ray. Now, I've seen this before. I've got the Shameless Entertainment 3-disc Metal Tin Edition uh, from England. And I remember picking it up for six quid, and I was like, you know what? It was rare at the time. I was like, you know what? I'll give it a go, because I was collecting every one. And then I found out this was coming out on Blu-ray. Now, I do have the other two Bronx movies. I just haven't got them on me, but I picked them up also. I really, really like these movies. I think they're a lot of fun. You can't take them seriously. But if you want a really good fun movie, you don't always take them seriously. It's great, it's fun, and it's exciting. Especially the bit at the end where the guy's got a see-through plastic protection thing. And George Eastman's always fantastic in those movies. Next up is The Avenging False with Michael Dudikoff and Steve James. Now, putting this in, I ha didn't have high hopes for it. I thought, eh, oh, the pentangle and all this. But seeing the hunting scenes where the guys are hunting people and one looks like a gimp mask wearing Wheeler and the other one looks like a samurai and then you've got the other two it was quite interesting i highly enjoyed it but the end leaves you hanging it seems to me like there was meant to be a sequel but because they didn't get the right publicity and the right gross like from the money back it didn't happen which is upsetting because james booth is fantastic in this movie and i would like to have seen more movies like this like they, it could have been like an american ninja in the fact that it could have gone on for a couple more, and I would have liked that. But, yeah, overall, it's a good film. I watched the TV show Hello Ladies, the complete series, and the movie. 
Now, this service, if you watch any Ricky Gervais, Stephen Mertz and stuff, this service is predictable as hell. I put in the disc, saw him in his fan, I was like, yep, 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 I know what this is. This is kind of extras, meets romance, meets uh, awkward situations. And to be honest with you, that's exactly what it is. It's alright, it's a lot of fun, the movie's not as good as the series, but at the same time, it's very predictable if you know these type of comedies. Next up, we've got Fortress 2. I haven't seen this in ages, but I got it and I thought I'd like to see it again because I remember enjoying the first one. And I remember the villain from Karate Kid 2, the Japanese guy. Um, I remember he is in this movie as one of the prison guards. So I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Now, I've got three Blue Rose from Code Red. And I've got them because they're the post-nuke collection. Yeah. The Equalizer 2000, I've never ever seen this before, I'll be very honest about that, but it's one of those films that I would never have heard of unless I found that cover of releasing this and I thought, you know what, I'll pick it up, I'll watch it and maybe review it. In that same collection we've got Wills of Fire, another film I've never seen, but hopefully I will, soon. And this, I love the cover of this, Sisterhood, look at that cover. That cover is pure beauty. So that might be the next one. And then I picked up Vanilla Sky, which I have seen years and years ago. And I remember liking the story. I remember finding it really thrilling and really, really, you know, like exciting. So I'm looking forward to getting into it again. And because it's got two cuts, so it's got the alternate ending cut and it's got the original theatrical version. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching both of them in all their glory and enjoying them. I picked up Mad City, starring Dustin Hoffman and John Travolta. I remember watching this film years ago. I bought it off my cousin and I really, really enjoyed it. Saw it cheap for like a dollar and thought, why not pick it up? I can watch it again and enjoy it. I picked up the fifth season of Flashpoint. I thought, you know what, I've got series 1, 2, 3, and 4. I would like to get the other two services. Saw it for $13 and was like, you know what, I'll pick that up. And then I'll watch it when I get season 6 so I can finish on without having to stop. Next up is Mortal Kombat Conquest. Which is one of those shows which I watched half of years ago. It also stars Daniel Bernhard who's in Bloodsport and he's in... John Wick and he's in Mortal Conquest and so forth. And when this came out in the shops, it was twenty nine ninety nine. And I went through it myself. I'm not going to pay twenty nine ninety nine for this show. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not going to do that. And then I saw it on Amazon for nine ninety nine, and I was like, wow. I feel so fulfilled. What did buy it on release date? But yeah, I'll go for nine ninety nine. So I was happy about that because I was like, yeah, twenty two episodes, four discs, two dollars fifty a disc. I also picked up Dolph Lundgren in John Woo's Blackjack. This is one of those films that I remember watching when I was a lot younger. And I'm sure, if I'm correct, that in this, Dolph Lundgren is colourblind. I'm sure he is, but I can't remember. If so, I've seen it before, but I barely remember it, other than the colourblindness thing, if that's the case. Next up, I picked up for a dollar, The Birthday Girl. Or just birthday girl, so Nicole Kidman and Ben Chaplin. Yeah, this is one of those films that I, which I've seen multiple times. I had the English DVD and then I had the ISO of it, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to replace it, put it back in my collection because I really do like this movie. I haven't seen it in a very long time, but I remember I always go back to it when I do have it, when I do see it. And it's one of those films which I find quite interesting. I do think Nicole Kidman is very sexy in it. So that's quite good. And last but not least on my update video is The Hunted. So I'm in Christopher Lambert who basically meets this Japanese woman. He goes back to her place. They have, woo, whoopee, and they have sex. And he gives her a good shillelagh, woo, you know, gives her the sword and all sorts of things, you know. Whatever way you want to talk about the manly parts and the female parts. And as he leaves, he realizes he's forgot his cane or something like that. And as he walks in, this guy's in there in ninja outfits. And they're about to kill her, right? And they kill her and he sees it and he gets up in the hospital. Thus ends up the journey of him being protected by this samurai guy and this thing. And it turns out the samurai guy's got a problem with 
the main head ninja and so forth and basically what happens is there's this massive war and Christopher Lambert has to survive and then he becomes this warrior and you're like eh, blah, blah, blah. but never becomes anything better than what he is so it's a really good film it goes in the ninja collection and I really look forward to watching this again I haven't seen it in about five years but I remember really really liking it so again another one to add to the collection so as always guys if you've seen any of these movies please tell me down below what you think of them and please please like the video if you haven't already please subscribe and if you have already thanks for your support and as always guys take care and have a good day